Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank. Welcome to another edition of Regent Elevate. I want to remind you that if you want to look at past Regent Elevates, they're on our website, regent.bank. Look under the Resources tab and you'll see them right there. They're great. Uh, Brandon does an excellent job getting them out there for you. Today we're going to continue our series on the abundance mentality. And today we're going to talk about the difference between a scarcity mentality and an abundance mentality. And I think this is very, very important because I think most of us function with a scarcity mentality. Now, growing up, you know, in farming, uh, times are good, times are bad. Uh, you got money, you don't have money. And, and over time, I created, for whatever reason, this tremendous scarcity mentality. Frankly, I lived the first 34 years of my life uh, in fear of scarcity. I was always afraid that I wasn't going to have enough uh, money saved up for my family, or I wasn't going to be able to provide for them, or I was going to get fired, or I was going to lose a big client, or something was going to go wrong. I was always uh, promoted way above, frankly, what I should have been, and I think I was afraid that people were going to find out that I wasn't as smart as what they thought I was. Now, thankfully, they already know that, and they like me anyway, so that's been fantastic. So, so. How do we break the scarcity mentality? A scarcity mentality, in a scarcity mentality, you believe that life is a race. Um, there is never enough. If you win, I lose. Um, and it is a struggle for survival each and every day. Now, through a variety of sources, through Jesus' teaching in the Bible, through Stephen Covey's teaching in Seven Habits for Highly Effective People, through mentorship from some wonderful people, what I have been taught and what I now believe is that none of that is true. That's not true, none of it. The truth is there is more than enough for everyone. There's more than enough resources, business, success for you to win and me to win. You shouldn't be upset when someone else is doing well that's fantastic. There's plenty for all of us. There are expanding resources and opportunities. All we have to do is take advantage of those. Life is not a zero-sum game. Um, it, this is a critical mindset change. And, and this is something that became uh, very obvious to me back in 2008 and 2009. We went through very difficult times with our organization. The economy was struggling. We had just bought the bank. It looked like we were not going to survive. Um, frankly, the Lord taught me during that time in my life that there was enough. He provided us with a miraculous capital injection to keep Regent Bank going, and it frankly cured me of scarcity. And the reason it cured me of scarcity was because I finally learned once and for all that I wasn't really in control. All I could do was the very best that I could do and allow Him to uh, uh, make the results happen for me. The clients we have, I know, are because of Him. The employees are because of Him. So here's what I, I ask you to uh, hear today. And that is, if you live in a mindset of scarcity, if you believe there's not enough, I ask you to work to change that mindset today and to believe what I am telling you, that there is enough. Once you believe that, what happens is you can then go into relationships and do what's in the best interest of that other person. You don't have to go into that relationship taking, taking, taking because you don't have enough. Because here's the reality. You and I can both feel when the person that we are working with has a motive that is for us or against us. Either you want to take care of me or you want to make money off of me, one or the other. And so what we want to do is have a mindset that I want to take care of you, but we can only do that when we have an abundance mentality and move away from a scarcity mentality. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this session. Next time, we're going to talk about, next, next Friday, we're going to talk about abundant relationships and how can I enter into relationships with an abundance mentality that really, really changes the game. So I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for joining us.